What's up everybody, I'm Matt Brody and this is Simply Must Go and today, today we are solving two of the biggest problems with the Jeep YJ. Problem number one is cup holders. They just, there's, they just don't have good cup holders. Let's face it, the cup holders in a stock Jeep YJ uh, center console are, are horrendous, they're terrible. The cup holders in the aftermarket center consoles are generally horrendous and terrible. There is no good cup holder solution for the Jeep YJ, except for the Dog Fox Industries metal cup holders that mount up uh, on the dash. And I have those same cup holders in Sioux, which is my 92 Jeep Wrangler YJ that is a Jurassic Park replica. So that's gonna solve issue number one. We're gonna put some new cup holders in Sioux that I absolutely love. But what I'm really excited about is fixing issue number two. So issue number two is there's not a good place to mount a cell phone holder. Uh, you can mount them to the windshield with like a suction cup and it, it's okay, it's not great. They bounce around a lot. I've never found one that's really sturdy. They fall off a lot, especially on the trails and with different weather and stuff like that. And that's really inconvenient. And when you got your top and your doors off, having a phone just fly out uh, can also mean you lose your phone. And so that's no bueno. So the solution is again, another Dog Fox Industries product, which is their brand new Jeep YJ dash accessory rail. And I am so excited about this. So I should note that Dog Fox Industries is all made in the USA. Uh, they are not a sponsor. They did not send this to me. I paid for it because it's freaking awesome. And I've been wanting one of these for a while. So in the box, you're gonna get your brackets, your nuts, your bolts, things like that. Obviously, the accessory rail. Now this rail does not come with instructions, but the idea is pretty simple. You've got a bracket that's going to come across the top here and then bolt into the top of the rail there. Now we've got to do a couple things at the same time because we're going to be installing the cup holders and they both use the same factory bolt holes for the dash. And so we're going to do all this at the same time. Anyway, so these are the cup holders and you can see they're metal, they're machined uh, with the YJ grill on it. Uh, they look like this and they mount to the dash in those same spots right here. So they mount like this. And so we've got to take the screws out and basically remount this just like that. And then we'll do the same on the other side. And I will have awesome cup holders and an accessory rail when we're done with this. You'll need a T40 in order to remove these screws. And you only need to remove the top two on each side. And I do find that a longer extension really helps with these. All right, side one is installed. That was really easy. We're gonna go do the other side real quick and then we'll mount this last. All right, so let's talk about how you're actually going to mount uh, accessories onto this rail because you need to kind of do that before you install the rest of the rail because once you bolt in the sides, you're going to have locked off that channel. And so I've got these ball mounts that I got from, I believe 67 Designs, might have been from Vector Off-Road, um, where I got my uh, JKU accessory bar. Regardless, I will link to these in the description down below. Um, but anyway, the thing about it is this sort of block that runs in the channel, the one that comes with it is or the one that, that came with the, uh, the ball is too big. So with the Dog Fox Industry ones, you've got a smaller one here, and we're just going to screw this into the actual Dog Fox Industry little rail mount. Um, I'm gonna kind of pre-install this onto here with enough room to slide down the rail first so that I can move it and maneuver it a little bit, and then I'll use this to sort of tighten it down fully. I'm gonna go ahead and install two accessory balls now so that in the future, I can add another one without having to take the whole bar off again. So that'll work for now. And the final step is just to mount it 
to the bracket with these screws and an Allen key. Perfect, nice and straight. And again, same thing just on this side. And now the last step is just to install the phone holder that I'm going to use, which is going to be the 67 design, uh, just standard, I guess they're Gen 2 phone holder. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, uh, it just mounts right onto that ball and we'll be done. So now that I have the phone holder exactly where I want it, I can just clip it in and it will always be right where I need it. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you're interested in the Dog Fox Industries products, I will link these down in the description below. Again, I'm not an affiliate. I don't get anything for this. I just think they're an awesome company that makes awesome made in the USA products specifically for the YJ. So I was super pumped to get these and show you how to install them. If you have any questions about them, leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to answer those for you as well. Uh, but until next time, God bless, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.